Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to TaylorMade Beauty by Chris. Today, I'm sharing with you my faves and fails for March. And top of my list is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Icon palette. I hope you caught my video where I reviewed this and a bonus video where I'm doing some other looks. Those colors, they're amazing and they are so fun to play with. So if you've picked this up, I hope you're enjoying it as well. Another favorite of mine from Charlotte Tilbury this month, it's not a new product, but it is new to me. It is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. I have this in light medium. And this has replaced my Smashbox contour. I find the contour in this is just so soft, so subtle, but still with the look I'm going for. And when I don't feel like being really out there uh, highlight wise, the highlight in this is just, it's what it says. It's a very soft glow and I'm really enjoying that palette. All right, if you caught my mini madness on Huda Beauty's Mauve Obsessions, uh, which is a color I'm using today, oh, you know that I just fell in love with these gorgeous colors. You know, they bring out the green in my eyes so much, and now that the weather's getting a bit nicer, I just want everything to be florally and pretty. This is a great palette for that. Another one that I did a review on this past month was the Tarte Found Sealer. Great wear, SPF 20, goes on beautifully, good medium to even medium partway to full coverage, wears like crazy. I think I will definitely be picking up a full size version of this when this deluxe mini runs out. Another favorite of mine from this month is from Tarte. They have their Sugar Rush line at Ulta which I find a little um, juvenile, but they have these um, lip oils there. And this one is fresh pressed. They have one cherry, and I can't remember the other flavor. The scents on those other two were overwhelming. While I liked the color, the scent was just too much. This is a clear oil. And it has a little scent, sort of like Smarties or Sweet Tarts. Um, it's somewhere between pleasant and unpleasant. But I've been reaching this for this product uh, in the mornings when I wake up to moisturize uh, before I do my makeup instead of a lip balm. Uh, it really is giving my lips good moisture and a nice softness, and I'm enjoying that very much. Stepping out of cosmetics and into nails, I used to do my nails every Sunday night. That was my thing when I was in college and when I had my first job. Every Sunday night, it was doing the nails. And then when I got like my first raise and was really starting to make some money, I started getting acrylics. And I loved having nice nails. And then fast forward many years and I had kids and I just stopped wearing nail polish. Well, now that I've been shooting and seeing my hands on camera, I decided I needed to go back to wearing nail polish. And when I went to Target, I discovered a product from Sally Hansen called Miracle Gel. And this is a two-step process that they say is equivalent to the gel products from the salon. Step one is the color, and step two is the top coat. And what I have found with this product is I can go a good seven days before I start getting any chipping or wear on my nails. Here's a picture for after wearing this um, Terracoppa for seven days, and you can see it's just starting to wear at the edges. Now I will compare that to only getting two or three days worth of wear with traditional nail color products. So I'm pretty impressed with this. And it does come off just with regular fingernail polish remover. It takes maybe 
20% extra effort to get it off, but it's not unreasonable and it does come off. And I picked up a couple other really fun colors. You may have noticed this one, Mintage, in another video. And what I'm wearing today is In the Sheer, a very pretty, soft pink. I have two non-cosmetic favorites this month. One is this necklace that I'm wearing. This is by a company called Two Bandits, and it came in my spring FabFitFun box. And it's just such a nice, uh, delicate necklace. Really liking that. And the other one is this utility jacket. It's a Caslon, which is Nordstrom's brand. I really like the, uh, the detailing it has up here. It just went on sale. I will link it below. Hopefully, if you like it, uh, they'll still have it. You know, this time of year, we can have a cool spring day, in which case I wear it like I would a sweater around the house over, over a t-shirt, or we can be having a nicer spring day where I just want a light jacket when I head out, and then it serves really nicely as that. So, those have been my favorites for March. In the fails column, I picked up this The City Mini Palette by Maybelline. Um, when the Anastasia Sultry palette came out, I was not a big fan of it, so I have not purchased it. But there was that one sort of poppy color in there that I really, really liked. And I was really hoping that that shade would be a dupe for that one out of Anastasia. Well, I wore this eye makeup two days and it didn't matter what I tried, how much I packed it on, wetting the brush, setting powder on the brush, I could not get any color payout from this palette. So I am putting that in my fails column this month. Another fail this month, this Iconic London, this brow product that came in the uh, BoxyCharm Luxe this past month. It is basically a stamp pad and you're supposed to take their dual-ended brush, use the spoolie to brush up your brows, then use the angled part to dab in them and put on your brows. Well, if you watched my daughter and I unbox the BoxyCharm, you saw I popped in and I felt like all this thing did would make me look like Groucho Marx. So maybe for somebody else who's got a more gentle hand, you can make it work. But for me, it was a fail for the month. And my last fail for March is the Briogeo Superfood Be Gentle, Be Kind Shampoo and Conditioner. One of my favorite YouTubers loves this shampoo and conditioner. And I was looking to change up my routine and so I purchased these and I used them for several weeks and it, they really just didn't do anything for my hair. I was hoping for softness and more shine, and just healthier feeling. And these two did not deliver. Well, that makes me think of another favorite of mine this month. I am 50, and about 10 months ago, I started noticing that my hair was thinning. Um, I have a ton of hair. It's fine, but there's just a whole lot of it. And I noticed when I was washing my face at night and leaning into the mirror that I could see a whole lot more of my scalp than I used to be able to. So um, I've been trying lots of things, and one's a long-term thing that I will be sharing with you later. But one thing I started using in March was the Aveda products called Invadi that are used for um, thinning hair and thickening your hair. And what I have distinctly noticed now in the month that I have been using these two products is that when I wash my hair and I run my fingers through my hair, I used to get a ton of hair 
in my fingers. And now that I've been using these products for about a month, I am getting considerably fewer hairs that are coming out in the shower. Plus, I really like how my hair feels. So, definitely two favorites from March. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. I post every Monday and Thursday. But sometimes I sneak in a bonus video and you don't want to miss those. Thanks so much and have a really fantastic day.